by the Director of the National Park Service, Charles Sams, Chief Historian at the History Channel, Kimberly Gilmore, President of the White House Historical Association, Stuart McLaurin, and the 2019 American History Teacher of the Year, Alicia Butler. blessed with this day, weren't we? Wow. <laughs> so have, ever, have any of you ever walked through a museum and wanted to touch one of the displays? Come on, be honest. Okay. Have you ever heard a recording from years ago and suddenly it feels like you're in that room, like the present and the past are coming together? Have you ever seen a picture of someone famous and it's helped you to understand that person a little bit better. Good, okay, I'm sure as you came to the tour, you might have seen people you hopefully recognized. So that's what I had in mind when creating this updated White House tour. And today with you, we are unveiling a reimagined White House tour experience. So thank you for, welcome, for joining me and welcome to the White House. As a teacher for 40 years, I know that we all learn in different ways. Some of us learn something through hearing. Some of us uh, learn something through uh, feeling something. So we've added a dynamic, flexible, and tactile tools of learning that let you follow your curiosity. Now you can do all the things that you always wanted to do in a museum, We've made replicas so that you can feel the features of some of the sculptured faces and touch the shining fabric on the furniture of the Blue Room. You can now hear President Roosevelt's fireside chats in the room in which he recorded them. So you can feel as if you are there right beside him. We've added screens and information so you can read about what you see in each of the rooms for you visual learners. So one of my favorite parts of this new tour is walking past those glowing pictures in the colonnade, going around the corner, and coming to that model of the White House on the wall. It changes every couple seconds so that you can see the renovations that have taken place over the years. You may not know this, but the White House didn't always have running water or electricity. So they had to open up the walls to put it in. And that's what you'll learn on this tour. The rendering tells you that story. Who added each piece of the house and when? Serving as your first lady has been an honor. Being able to bring friends into the house is special. We're doing it today, sharing it with all of you. So many people put months of hard work into this project. So I'm grateful to Paul Bouchieri and the History Channel, the National Park Service, the White House curators and executive residence staff, ESI Design, the White House Historical Association, and the Presidential Library staff for all of their work, so thank you. <laughs> to preserve our history, we must teach it. We learn from the wisdom of the past and weave it into our future. And as you walk through this house, I hope you'll feel the history here. It's your history, and it lives in each of you, connecting you to those who have walked before you and to each other. One of the things that makes this house so special is that it belongs to you, 
the American people. And as your First Lady, it's been a privilege to share it with all of you and keep opening the doors wider and wider. Thank you. Like the Grand, thank you. <laughs> like the Grand Canyon of Yosemite, our White House is a national park. And I'm grateful to the National Park Service who work so hard to preserve it, to protect it for all of you. They help make sure that the White House is a place where you can be inspired and learn. So please help me welcome National Park Service Director Chuck Sams. Oh my goodness, let me find where this is. It could be the second your one. Oh, just barn here. Oh, there they are. Sorry. Here we go. Nikhala and Anaimuma. Good afternoon, my friends and relatives. I am so very honored to be the 19th director of the National Park Service. For the National Park Service, it's humbling and exhilarating to preserve and share our nation's history. It's breathtaking nature and the endless opportunities to enjoy the outdoors and learn for a lifetime. And the greatest thrill is when we see how our work enriches people's lives. National Park Service employees invest their passion, skill, and talents at more than 430 national parks across the country, including right here at the White House and the President's Park, where we take meticulous care of health and beauty of the grounds and gardens, preserve and care for priceless artifacts, provide iconic spaces for people to exercise their First Amendment rights, and invite people to learn about the history of the presidency and the White House as a home, an office, and a worldwide symbol of democracy. As National Park Service Director, I have the distinct honor of serving as chair of the Committee for the Preservation of the White House, alongside experts and luminaries and guided by the First Lady's visionary leadership. And it is Dr. Biden's vision that has brought us to this moment she saw an opportunity to make a visit to the White House more inspiring, more meaningful, and more memorable for visitors of all ages. A generous donation from the History Channel a &E Television Network has helped bring her vision to life. There is nothing that compares to learning in the places where history happens. The White House, like all of our national parks, is a living classroom that connects our shared American story to students and learners of all ages. The National Park Service is thrilled to collaborate with the White House and the First Lady on a new tour experience and in caring for the White House and its spectacular setting every day. You will be excited to see this new milestone. I would like to introduce now Kim Gilmore. Thank you, Director Sams. Um, I'm honored today to be here on behalf of the History Channel for the unveiling of the new Enhanced White House Tour Experience. Dr. Biden, as First Lady and throughout your life dedicated to public service and education, you have inspired generations of people to embrace a level of learning and remember that all of us always have more to learn about our history. These new tour components, such as the living timeline uh, in the East Colonnade, which many of you have seen or will today, people of all ages will learn more about the vital events that have taken place here. And most importantly, about the people who have lived here, gathered here, met here, talked here, performed here, as well as those who have, who have preserved this house for, for the future. Each one of these people who has walked through these rooms and halls have played a role in our nation's story, and they reflect the truth that it has always been people, our leaders, including presidents and first ladies and their families, and also countless ordinary citizens, people like us, who have made real the promises of the American experiment, the American experiment that is ongoing and that will continue today and into the future. We see the faces of these people throughout the new tour experience, and I know these photos and images of people and important objects here will lead many students, like the ones who are here today, and their families to de dig deeper into the stories they learn about during the tour. And at the, here at the History Channel, it's always been important to us to not only make history relevant for people of all backgrounds through our programming, but in the places that people cherish the most. 
and there is no more treasured place in our nation's history than the White House. It has been an incredible honor to be part of this special initiative. And we have been incredibly proud to join with so many people. This is a collective work of a team. The First Lady um, and, and her team, uh, the White House curators, the White House, Historic, the White House executive resident staff, the White House Historical Association, the National Park Service, and the stellar team at EI Design, ESI Design, who are helping to bring to life this vision and engage, of an engaging tour experience for a new generation of students, some of you, you are, who are here today. I want to thank and acknowledge Paul Buccieri, the president and chairman of A&E Networks Group, who is here with us today for his commitment to this project and dedication to making history meaningful for all people. And finally, Dr. Biden, we all owe an enormous thank you to you for this transformative vision and, and for decades of dedication to this work to widen the aperture of our history with these new educational features and all the work that you've done for students throughout our country and for the American people to make a more vivid, leave, living, breathing reflection of the many people and events that have made up the fabric of American democracy, a story that continues today and beyond. Thank you. Um, and now it's my pleasure to introduce Stuart McLaren, the president of the White House Historical Association. Thank you very much, Dr. Biden, for inviting us to this beautiful and glorious historic Rose Garden on this wonderful and very special day for the White House. It's truly a great honor to gather with you here to celebrate the unveiling of this wonderfully enhanced White House tour experience. Since our founding in 1961 by First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, the White House Historical Association has been privileged to work with 12 presidencies to share the rich and complex stories of this beautiful home. We, like you, Dr. Biden, and others gathered here, are committed to telling the full story of the White House from the lives of the enslaved workers who, just across the street from where we are now in Lafayette Park, worked to build this house, the enslaved workers who lived under this roof to support our early presidents, the amazing and wonderful executive resident staff that work day in and day out to maintain this symbol of American democracy for those who live here, work here, visit here, and view it from around the world. And of course, to our President and First Lady for taking care of this space and interpreting this space for all who have the opportunity to visit. You know, White House history is not always easy. There are true moments of great joy, such as the weddings that have been held in this very special Rose Garden, but there are also very challenging moments and it's our responsibility to tell them all. In this important work for the re-inspiration of the White House tour and for your four years as First Lady, we have been inspired by your heart, your vision, and your lifelong passion and commitment to teaching and learning. So thank you very much thank for that. Thanks, Stuart. Dr. Biden's leadership has guided this project as we have worked collaboratively with her, her wonderful, uh, really terrific staff, the History Channel, ESI, the National Park Service, Presidential Libraries, and all who have had a hand in making this possible. I'd especially like to recognize my White House Historical Association colleague, Dr. Matthew Costello, and his staff at our David M. Rubenstein National Center for White House History for working day in and day out to ensure that the historical accuracy of the narrative was in place and to also engage images from our digital library which is available to the public and is a treasure trove of images from throughout White House history. So Dr. Biden, in thanking you for your leadership, I want to acknowledge and recognize and praise that now every single person who will take this tour of the White House will have a deeper understanding of the remarkable building and its role in White House history. We all know that this is more than a home, more than an office, more than a ceremonial stage, more than a museum. This is a living symbol of American history. 
and what you have done to enhance this tour makes it more so. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And now it's my honor to welcome Alicia Butler, who was the Gilda Lerman 2019 National Teacher of the Year and also the DAR Teacher of the Year and is currently the teacher in the DC public schools. And it's so wonderful to see these Generation A students right here on the front row, Alicia, uh, much like your students, I'm sure. So welcome. It is a privilege to be able to be here and to celebrate the unveiling of the new White House educational tour. I'm a native of Hallandale, Florida, and growing up in South Florida, you find yourself in your mind as far south as you can get in the United States. It feels like it takes forever to travel to another state. As a child, I used to feel that I had as strong as a chance to travel to Washington, D.C. to see the White House as I did to travel to Egypt to see the Great Pyramids. <laughs> in the eighth grade, my school organized an end of the year trip to Washington, DC, but it was too costly for the majority of students that looked like me. So when I moved to DC 15 years ago, I jumped at every opportunity to travel to the White House. And when the chance presented itself to take my students for a White House tour, I quickly jumped at the opportunity. As a history teacher, I was so excited for my students to have the experience I never had at their age, and was amazed that many of them, although born and raised in the city, had never visited the White House, or even knew that it was a possibility, despite the fact that some were fourth and fifth generation Washingtonians. The day of the tour, my students were so enthusiastic. But when they got there, I could see some of that elation dissipate during the tour, as they were quickly ushered from room to room along an experience that mostly highlighted the ant antique furniture and paintings. There was no acknowledgement of the fact that the very people that built the hallways they were walking down looked like many of my students, came from similar backgrounds, and in some cases might have very well been their ancestors. There were no discussions of the conversations that were had in the rooms in which they weren't allowed. How much more meaningful would it have been if for my students, many who reside in Southeast DC, to learn how Frederick Douglass, a treasured resident of Southeast, met with President Lincoln here demanding that he abolish slavery and allow black men the right to fight for their freedom in the Civil War. Imagine how my students would have felt knowing about the protests that took place right outside the White House by women who refused to accept anything less than their right to vote and to be heard. Or, if inspired by their tour, they could learn that students not much older than they stage an actual sit-in during a White House tour under the Johnson administration to protest the violence um, that were taking place against activists in Selma, Alabama in 1965. Imagine how much more memorable the experience would have been if my students could have seen digital tools that could help them appreciate and reflect how the architectural structure of the White House has grown and evolved over time Mirroring, memoring, memoring, excuse me, of the growth and the rich diversity of this country. Imagine the experience my students might have had if they could have been immersed in the stories and timelines that have taken place in a building we, along with our children, should view as the people's house. As a teacher, I really feel that this new White House tour accomplishes that and provides that experience for our students. I appreciate the efforts that have been made over the years to make the White House more accessible to our youth than it was for members of my generation and before. And I cannot wait to hopefully take my students on this new interactive experience. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Teaching isn't just a job, it's a calling. And, we can, and when we can all see that you were called to this profession for a reason. So thank you for what you do. And I'm grateful to, all, to everyone here for spending some of your day with us, uh, some, you know, for being here at this moment. And after you leave here, keep telling the world what you learned here today. Keep exploring new parts of our history. Keep that wisdom with you as you shape the future of our nation. And maybe one day, and I'm talking to all the students here, 
Maybe one day your portraits, one of your portraits, will be hanging here watching over the next generation of students. Thank you and enjoy the new tour. Thank you. Distinguished guests, please remain in your seats as the First Lady departs. Thank you.